<laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, oh, also, the guys say hi. Oh, oh. hey. hey. Oh. oh, people have joined. Nice. Ooh. Hey, we're in OBC Adriatic. Yeah. Thank you for joining Welcome. the live. It's currently 4 p.m. Beautiful weather. Ooh. Oh, sun. <laughs> Sunny to me, though. Yes. yes. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Yay. Fun times. Oh my god, so many people are interested in you. <laughs> so many people are joining now. <laughs> it's getting scary. <laughs> How many people have joined so far? 53. 53. Oh, what? Wow. I thought eight. Awesome. <laughs> I guess we've already got the next generation, so we're fine. Welcome, people. Welcome to UWC Adriatic. <laughs> Or four of the people who go yeah. to the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Nice. Hey. Oh my god, hey! So many new people joining. Yeah. Oh, so much so many hearts. Nice. Oh, so much love. <laughs> you know what you see? <laughs> Okay. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start. Okay. All right. Um, so brief introduction. Yes, I'm gonna do a brief introduction of what we are going to do in this live session. So basically, welcome to the um live Q and A session. Um, and all of us are like from UWC Adriatic in Italy. Um, like so, what is UWC? Is that UWC is a global movement. Um, so we have um, it's like UWC make education a force, unites people, nations, and cultures for peace and sustainable future. Um, and we have like um students from um over one hundred and forty nine countries, I think. Mm -hmm. And um, we have like. Um, campuses on um, 18 country, 18, um, 18 campuses around the world. Um, so this video, um, we are going to, um, we want you guys to ask a lot of questions and um, so feel free to ask a lot of questions and we are going to answer them. So basically um, what we're going to do in this video is that first we are going to do a brief introduction about ourselves and then we are going to talk about something that we didn't expect about UWC. So um, what we didn't expect about UWC and what we found interesting. And then the last one will be Q&A session. So like um, feel free to ask questions and we, we will um, choose some interesting questions to answer. Um, so, um, Yasmin, do you want to start introducing yes. yourself? Hello, I'm Yasmin. I'm 17 from Lebanon and I'm a second year. And I really love music and film. So, yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Naila. I am 17 years old and I'm from Mozambique. I'm also a second year here at the college. And fun fact about myself is that I really love dancing and I really love chemistry. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, I'm Trisha from India and Singapore. I'm 16 and I'm a first year, so I've only been here for like two months. But um, I really love it here and I'm really, really interested in art, design, and politics and how they can kind of be mixed together. Um, hi people, I'm Kwan. Uh, I'm from China. Um, I'm a first year in the college, um, but I study in UWC China um, as a foundation program student for the past year. Um, so that's basically our self-introduction, and now we're going to get into um, what we didn't expect about um, UWC. Yes, okay. So there are many things, but we only had to limit it to two. Uh, so I have to say that the first thing that I didn't expect when I was applying and then when I came here is how much the school really wants the students to get accepted. They'll do anything to fly you here and give you that opportunity that, that many people don't have. And they just want, it's not like a give and take situation. It's all give. They want to give you the education that so many don't have the opportunity to have. And they want to see you graduate and thrive and just be the leader that you were meant to be. And I would say the second one, I would have to say school spirit because I have never seen so much support of going every Monday after lunch and seeing so many students stand up and be like, I'm interested in this, I'm going to do a focus on this, I like this kind of song. It's, it's so varied and they're so open and it's just everyone shows up to anything that you want to initiate and it's great and because, I don't know, I've never seen so much school spirit and everyone supporting each other and yeah, it's a great experience. So. <laughs> So the two things that I did not expect about uh, UWC is um, one, uh, the support system. So um, Yasmin um, already kind of touched upon that, but um, what I mean to say by the support system, I mean with like initiatives, because literally any initiative that you might have, if you go to another student or another staff member, it could be a teacher or not even your own teacher, but if you go up to them and say, listen, 
I have this idea. The first thing they'll tell you is go ahead, do it, make it happen. Whatever you have to do, just make it happen. And I didn't expect that because I came from a place where if you have an idea, the first question you get is, why would you do that? Like, like don't, don't do that. Focus on your studies. Yeah. Get into university. After university, you can think about those things. But then you get here and it's the complete opposite. Like, if you think you have, not even if you think, if you have time now, just do it now. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing that I really appreciate about the school and about this movement, correction. <laughs> and the second thing is the diversity. Because you'll always hear that, oh yeah, um, they have people from more than 149 countries, or specifically the school, um, more than 80 countries, or 90 yeah. countries, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And it, like, it seems like just a number, and then you get here and you realize that there are actually people <laughs> from more than eight yeah. countries. Yeah. Like, let's put it this way, I have three roommates, one from China, one from Italy and Albania, and one from Italy and Morocco, and then there's me from Mozambique. Mm. Like, in one room, you already have three continents, mm. which is insane. So it really is diverse, and the thing about the diversity is that you learn so much from the people that it's truly beyond amazing. I think for me, um, I always knew that this movement is about kind of making you the best version of yourself or like trying to really get you to understand who you are. But I think ever since I've come here, I've just constantly been so intellectually like engaged in everything that's happening, whether it be the classes and how the teachers really want to, like of course there's a syllabus that they want to finish, but they really want you to start questioning things and they want to have discussions that push you and try to make you question your opinions and your ideas. Um, or whether it's even just the discussions you'll have at lunchtime in the cafeteria, which start off, you talking about, oh man, tomatoes taste so great, and then you end up coming to, is veganism really like good for our environment, good for our economy? And no matter what, I feel like I'm not even, I'm not just growing academically, but I'm also just growing as a person, like as a human being, just because of, like Nyla said, the diversity means that there's a diverse amount of opinions, which means you have all the room in these two years to grow and question who you are. Um, another thing, uh, Nyla mentioned the support system in terms of initiatives, but I really didn't expect how supportive everyone would be just in terms of like mental health, just in terms of physical health. Like, if you need help or if with a piece of homework or if you need someone to talk to, if you need advice, there's always someone there, whether it be your roommates, your neighbors, your classmates, friends. Um, it's just one big community that's there for each other rather than just themselves, which is really nice. Nice. Really cool. um, so like one thing I feel like um, the most inspired is like the inspiration we are able to have here um, because like this like different UWCs are so like they have like they have filled with different kind of opportunities and everything. So um, when I was in UWC Changchun, China, I was actually very excited about every single day because like every single day I get inspired by either my classmates, the faculties, or like the opportunities provided in the in the school itself. So um, that's a, a amazing um, like journey of UWC. And then another point I will talk about is um, um, opportunities we are able to have in UWC. So first of all, you're like able to have a set, like talk to a lot of. Um, people from like more than 19 countries, you know, every single day and those kind of opportunities not just like normally happen in our daily life and you know being able to talk to them daily is like a huge in inspiration and the second one is like um, for me personally um, like for UWC um, they really put me help me to connect with a lot of resources you know like a lot of um, different NGOs or like in organizations they are like more than happy to work with you just because um, like you are UWC students and they are if you like want any kind of opportunities like the school can help you to achieve it and also um, like also like um, the um, opportunities are the conferences or for uh, etc. So like um, me as a econ student, like um, I'm actually provided chances to go to Trieste, which is a city nearby, for economic conference from a business school this uh, next Monday. So I really think the inspiration opportunities are the best thing you are able to have in UWC. Um, so now we are going to um, do the Q and A session. So. Uh, um, for people who just joined, um, welcome. Uh, we are all students at UWC Adriatic. Um, we are very happy that you are here. So this is a Q&A session. Um, so please feel free to ask any question and we are going to choose some questions to answer. Uh, 
should we just move this a bit so that the yeah, sun sure. <laughs> Go with that hour. Yes, okay. So I read a question while you were talking about someone who's already in the selection process and asking about uh, how difficult the academics are and if we have any tips. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, okay. First of all, I don't, don't even want to answer the question, but congratulations for getting that process started. It's a journey, I think, even for like just discovering who you are through those questions, through those, just, it's an amazing journey, and I'm so glad that you're starting. Good luck, you're going to do great. But yeah, if anyone wants to answer. Yeah. Um, and also, um, I saw another question, like, the, is there any different criteria or, um, or like different um, differences between different campuses. So for criteria, I don't think there's much different criteria because like it really depends on your national committees. So you um, there's like two application approach. The first one is global selection program, and the second one is your national committee. So um, for more detailed information, please check out the UWC um, international um, website. There are lots of information on it. You can feel free to check it out. But um, coming to the um, differences or similarities between different UWC, um, I think like all eighteen campuses really share the same. UWC value in general, um, like um, but like when it comes to different campuses, we all do have we do have our own uniqueness. So for UWC Adriatic, um, we live in the town, um, so uh, we have open campuses and we are like we have a lot of artistic, uh, you know, yeah. music program or etc. So yeah. I think there's a lot of uniqueness yeah. in what's, different campuses. Yeah, what's really beautiful about Adriatic is um, how we live with the local community. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes okay, perfect. So how we live. Uh, within the local community, so every residence is in between uh, houses of people who live here, yeah. and it's so be we're by the sea. It's so beautiful, like lovely weather. And then if you just need a bit of fresh air from the village, you can just grab a bus and get into the city in ten minutes. Like really nice coffee shops, mm -hmm. so many places to see, and it's a great balance. Um, Different, it varies in different campuses in, in terms of how isolated it is or how close it is to the city. It really depends, but uh, as for here, it's a good balance. Okay. Not being biased, please. Yeah. <laughs> I think there was a question about academics um, that, um, of course, like I'm a first year, so I feel like the second year is definitely be able to delve more into that. But um, at UWC, we follow the IB, the International Bachelor. Bachelorette, bachelorette, I can't say the word. That's what we call the IV. <laughs> and um, personally, I really love it because I feel like it allows you to really explore lots of different parts because it doesn't make you decide exactly what you want to do. So you get to do a science, a humanities, an art if you wish. You get to do a foreign language, a first language, along with math. So you really get to keep your options open for university because, I mean, when you're 16, do you really know exactly what you want to do? Um, although it obviously does give you a lot of tools to be able to figure that out. But academically, of course, with the IB, it can be a little bit intense at times because there are deadlines and things that happen. But I think coming to UWC, you're looking at things more than just academics. You're looking at the UWC experience, which means talking to all these people, going to all these events about different cultures, about different opinions, all these talks about sustainability or feminism, or just there's always things to do. Um, and there's a supportive community that's there for you if you need help with your academics or if you need help um, just handing in an assignment. So I wouldn't worry too much about academics. Just try to find the best fit for you as who you are as a person. Yeah, um, and also I saw a lot of um, questions about like whether we are going to save the life. So yes, um, we are going to publish the life in, the, in this account for 24 hours. So um, if you have something urgent now, um, you please feel free to come back and to see our <laughs> answers. And also I read a question about if you have to learn uh, no music uh, to get into UWC or take music as a subject. There is no music as a IB subject. But <laughs> so there's there is no music as an IB subject, and you don't have to know it. But it's a bit more focused on the arts and music. But it's if you don't, if you're not an artistic person, or you don't uh, play any instrument, that's absolutely no problem. It's just it's beneficial if you do because they have we have music rooms and. We really um, we have choir and all of that. So yeah. Uh, following up on that, 
<coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Before we talk about that, um, here at Adriatic, we do have a music school. So if you are interested in music, then you do have the resources mm -hmm. here. Like, it is there. But it's not like if you don't know how to play any instrument, you won't get in that. Yeah. Besides the point. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, actually, um, the music school in University Adriatic is the reason why I transferred from University of Changshu, China to University Adriatic. Um, and I just have my flute lesson today. So, they are really able to help you to connect with different resources. And I'm also playing in the orchestra in Trieste. So, you are really able to ac access to a lot of music resources if you are like a musician who is passionate about music performance. Um, so, do come to University Adriatic if you're interested in music. Yeah. Any questions? Um, yeah, there's a question about, um, do you have any recommendations or suggestions f for how to write an um, application essay for UWC? Hmm. <coughs> um, maybe um, reach out to your national committee and maybe find some alumni that might be able to help you out and maybe tell you about the process of how to get in. Or, um, yeah, I think just reach out to those who know best, which is obviously National Committee or someone that you might know, you heard from about UWC, uh, or you can ask us, uh, no, actually, yeah, <laughs> you can ask us yeah. like, privately, yeah. Yeah. privately and we can give you some more details yeah. about it. So, yeah. But I think in terms of like your actual essay, um, there's not really any hack, I think, to getting into UWC. And I think even when I was applying, I was trying to search for like, what does UWC want? Um, until I realized that like, UWC actually wants you. Like they want the real you. They don't want this like fake person that you've made up to please them. Because the point of UWC, the UWC and the diversity is that everyone is so different. So I think the biggest tip I could give you is really be honest to who you are in that essay and like write down all your opinions even if you believe it's too strong or even if you think that it's too radical because there's always a place where it's not too radical yeah. and often that place is UWC so just <laughs> be yourself in that essay and that will probably get you through yeah, so, oh, sorry. sorry, I just want to mention this now because we've done it a couple of times uh, when we do this mm -hmm. yeah. 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 <laughs> we're, not, we're not crazy, we're not crazy it means we agree it's like a silent applause. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's like yes, I agree. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, I saw a very tricky question that says how to balance academic life with social life. I was scared this question was coming. But uh, yeah. Um, here you really learn about time management a lot. You might struggle with it. Everyone does, but at some point you get to know what's good for you because it's very unique. Some people. Um, know that they need to study for this much or know that they it really depends on what comforts you and what m gets you through the day if you know that you like to spend most of your time like in your room studying reflecting relaxing watching a movie and then going out with your friends for a couple of hours or if you like to study at the end of the day and spend your day meeting up with people it's really up to you you just have to find what works for you and what works as a balance because that's the most important thing uh, to get through your day so yeah um, and also for people, um, so like um, for people who just joined the live session, yeah. welcome. Yeah. We are in UWC Adriatic. Hey. Um, this is a QA and a session. Um, so feel free to ask questions, um, like any kind of question you have regarding UWC, and we're, um, we are going to answer them. So um, I just saw a question about um, what I like. Is there a different focus on every single UWC? I would say um, in general, like there's like every UWC to, to have their own uniqueness. So um, I feel like Definitely look up on the website to see um, what, a, um, what are the uniqueness of every campuses. But for Adriatic, um, I think we have really we are we have a really immersive experience since we are open campuses in Duino, and also um, we have an amazing music program in this college. Um, I think the uniqueness of each campus is definitely something that you should look at, and it's a really good question because each person is so different, so each campus would be different to fit you. And it was something that I was definitely looking at when I was applying. Um, what helped is if you go onto the UWC website and there's a section talking about the campuses. When you go onto the campuses, they basically sum up like the uniqueness of each campus in like three bullet points. Mm -hmm. So if you just go through those for whichever campuses you're interested in, it really helps you when you're talking about preferences or in your sections or anything like that. Or just 
to kind of get you more into the idea of what is UWC because it is a movement, it's not just a school. Yeah. And I also saw a question up regarding the scholarship provided in each college. So I do want to mention that um, UWC provides a lot of scholarships or financial aids towards students. <laughs> um, a lot of students are able to come here without those scholarships. About um, 70% so, I would say. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, the students. Yeah. yeah. So um, for scholarship information, um, like national committees will provide them. There are um, other organizations that provide students to go to, uh, provide aid for students to go to UWC. And then colleges also provide aid for students to come to UWC. So, um, I feel like you should definitely um, talk to your national communities or the colleges to, um, to see the information, but it's definitely possible they can get a financial in UWC, and that's a major part of why we are, why we are here. Yeah. Uh, they ask a relationship with your teachers and how supportive they are, and also there are Norwegian people in the school. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there are about like five, I think, yeah. Yeah, they're great. Yeah, very nice people. Very nice people. Everyone's great. Yeah. And I also saw a lot of questions like regarding like how it's being a Chinese or how it's being a African American like mm -hmm. in this college. So basically like um, for me personally, I would say UWC Italy like um, from the first time I was here, I was really having a culture shock kind of because you know the um, European <laughs> lifestyle and like it's very, it's, um, for me it's very new, it's brand new and it's like um, I was actually having a culture shock but also like you know you can find your own community here we have four students from uh, we have this year we have four students from china and then three students from hong kong in my same generation so we are able to not only to like you know know different kind of people from different backgrounds we are also like being able to come like have the kind of small home and like community feeling here and i also always say that like uwc is a really tight community in every campus so like you will feel home anyways like yeah, that's yeah. the most important yeah. part of it I definitely, sorry, no, no, no. I definitely feel like I've gotten more Indian coming here. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but just coming here, being able to really, like, I think I speak Hindi, like my language here, more than I actually spoke it when I lived in India with my community. Like, because here we have people from India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bangladesh, so we all get together, we watch Bollywood movies, we cook chai, which is Indian tea. And it's, it's just great because you get to connect with your culture while also learning about other cultures. So don't worry about forgetting your culture in this space because if anything, you're going to connect with it more. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, I saw a question about if you can go back to your original, to your country, uh, homeland, during the holidays. And yes, you can. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, so during winter break, you get to talk with the staff of the school and see when you get to go, your flight information, all of that. And you can also, you also have the option to stay. Um, in this case, you can stay with host families, adult yeah. families, and they're this great. This is at UWC Adriatic specifically. Yeah. <laughs> specifically in Italy. Everything we're saying is about specifically Adriatic. Yes. We don't yeah. really know yeah, about yeah, that's the experience yes. Otherwise, um, and also I saw a lot of um, like question about regarding the application process about like what is the weight of academics you know interview or like any suggestion or interviews so from my point of view I would say like you, I think um, from a university Chinese national community we really use a comprehensive like a, 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 a holistic application approach to see your grades your personality what are you interested in what have you able to, what resources have you had from your background so I would say um, it's a very it's just just not an equation it's not like a a plus B plus C is a very holistic approach from what you've been able to achieve from your background side. So I would say definitely just be yourself to present yourself and to do your best in the interview. And just check with your national committee though. It can be very helpful because each national committee has different requirements and different parameters where they measure um, or what they take into account. So just talk to them and say like, what, like, do I need any minimum grades to apply? Because in most cases you don't. And yeah. that, because we're not looking at just your academics, we're looking at people who can be change makers. Yeah. And that is not just yeah. academic grades. There's a lot more that comes with that. They right? see your potential. They see the way you, you talk. They know how genuine it is when you do it. Mm -hmm. Like you can, like, I, like when I was at the interview, I just sat there and I was like, I, they can see like, my soul. <laughs> I was horrified. I was like smiling. My t my teeth were shaking. I was like smile, smile, smile. But I tried to be as genuine as I could, and yeah. it got me here. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, there's a next question regarding the schedule in UWC. So what is academic life, the CAS program, and you know the rest of the yeah. program. Is there anyone want to talk about? Um, the schedule. Schedule. Oh, the schedule. Okay, so specifically um, at UWC Adriatic, um, we have classes every day from 8 until a maximum of 1.45. 
and then we'll go to lunch, and then after lunch we have our CAS activities. So for those of you who don't know, CAS is basically Creative Action and Service, um, which is a component of the IB, which again is the academic curriculum we follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, once a week for each of these three, um, let's say, sections, sections yeah. exactly, of the CAS, um, we do at least one, um, keyword being at least, because you can't do more activities if most you feel like it. Most people do more than one. Most people do yeah. more than one. <laughs> so you can have, for example, Monday at 2 p.m., you can have, I don't know, photography, yeah. and then on Wednesday at 5 p.m., you'll have your social service, which can be yeah. anything from science with kids to helping elderly people in Trieste. Yeah. You can tell like your cast, like, what yeah. you Yeah, so uh, specifically, um, I take uh, photography as a creative, um, hip-hop as a physical activity and then science with kids as a social service yeah. and it's something that I feel like without like it would UWC wouldn't be the same without CAS because mm -hmm. it's like it's part of the IP but at the same time it makes so much sense being a part of UWC yeah. because it's like at least once a week you're doing something physical at least once a week you're giving back to the community by doing your social service yeah. at least once a week you're expressing yourself creatively in it and an activity that you chose because we get to um, pick we have up to uh, three choices mm -hmm. and most of the times and when I say most it's like 98 percent of the times you will get one of your top three choices so it really is um, a beautiful way of taking something that's part of the IP and adding that Great. Yeah. Uh, um, there's a question about language. Uh, two, we're gonna put them together. So they ask if you have to know English really well here, and if you get to learn the local language. Um, specifically in Italy, it's um, from the Italian law that any Italian school you have to learn Italian. So here there are three levels. Um, you can, as your second language, it can be on a higher level, so HL. If you know any Latin language or if you've learned Italian before, it's a pretty quick um, a, a syllabus. And then the SL is at the standard level. You can start from scratch. Uh, it moves at a standard uh, pace. pace. Yeah. And then there's Abinitio for those who uh, don't speak any Roman languages or um, feel like they want to focus on something else more mm -hmm. uh, rather than languages. Um, so yeah, you have that option. And for English, there are so many people who come here and uh, struggle with English, and, but you do get better at it. There are so many people, their vocabulary have developed so much. Like I, I, f I feel so much more comfortable speaking in English and I can say that for so many other people. So you really don't have to worry about struggling with English at first. This happens to every single person. It's very intimidating at first, but you realize that everyone is like there to learn together. You're all in the same boat. No one's above, no one's under, we're all in the same room. So. And I think the beauty of UWC Adriatic specifically, because of the open campus and because we learn Italian, means that we get to practice yeah. all the time. Whether it is getting a coffee at a cafe, getting a bus ticket, whether it's even going to the cafeteria and asking for pasta for lunch, because yes, we have pasta for lunch and dinner <laughs> every day. <laughs> it's a dream, I know. <laughs> but yeah, you speak to almost everyone here because it's an open campus and you run into people all the time and it's all in Italian. So it really forces you to really practice. So I feel like it's the best way to learn a new language, to live in the country itself. Yeah. And also I would say like the, um, like the opportunities the college is providing really help me to motivate my, like myself studying mm -hmm. Italian. Yeah. Because like last year I studied French in China, but I wasn't that motivated <laughs> because I didn't use it in my daily life at all. But here because um, I'm playing, you know, I'm playing the orchestra and then I would like I have the opportunities to speak to different musicians like they are Italian so like it really motivates me to you know learn different expressions in Italian and really enjoy the Italian courses so I would say like it's no longer just like learning a language or like having a class it's like really applying your daily life and then you will get so motivated by it like every single day you see someone you ciao all the time and yeah. I think that's something that everyone's gonna miss when they leave the school because every time you see someone you're just ciao 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 oh, then yeah. you go back home you're like ciao they're like sorry yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah. it's so weird because I speak Portuguese and ciao means goodbye <laughs> oh my god <laughs> first few days it was confusing, then I got over it, then I went back home and I started saying ciao to everyone. Oh my god. And everyone was just 
so confused, like why is this man saying bye to me? But still, like I just I couldn't let go of it. I was calling my friend yesterday and I picked up the phone and I was like, ciao! And, like, and they're like, who are you? And after I finished the call, I was like, buena jornada! Jo and they were like, what is happening? Why are you? Like, I started like putting in like, Italian words, I started saying C instead of yes. Um, and I've been studying Spanish for really, really long. So what's been really nice is how much it helps you with the Italian, but how I get to communicate with all the like Latin people and all the people who speak Spanish native. Yeah. So language is actually a really interesting thing here. Yeah. And don't worry about English because we all know that English can be very hard and our native languages are sometimes more fun too. Yes. Yeah. Um, the sun is, is a very awesome. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> like that, sorry yeah, for the, the, sun, the sunlight is too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so for people who just yeah. um, so for people who just joined the live session, welcome. Um, we are in UWC Adriatic, and this is a Q and A session. So yes. do feel free to ask any question you do have. We are sorry if you are not able to answer a question. Um, if because like there are lots of questions going on yes. while we are yeah. answering the question. So please do re, re ask the question if you um if you really want to know the answer. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, sorry. I can see the screen. <laughs> I remember there was a question about um, teachers being supported. Oh yeah, true. Oh. We didn't answer that. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, is everyone gonna go? Go ahead. Okay. Just go. So, <laughs> take the um, well, the teachers here specifically at Adriatic at Adriatic are super supportive, and I mean supportive in every way. We have this system where um, each student is assigned a, a tutor, which is another teacher that is. So almost sort of like responsible. Um, supervises. Yes, yeah, like supervises your activities that you can actually go and talk to about anything. Mm -hmm. But the beautiful thing about that is that you don't need to feel restricted to your tutor. Yeah. If you feel closer to your chemistry teacher or your English English teacher, you can go up to them and talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about, even if it's. Um, like, I don't know, family issues, or you don't like the food that they're serving you in the cafeteria, or you're having issues with your roommates, whatever it is, the teachers are there for you, they're there to listen, they're there to help you in every way that they can, yeah. and I, I, That's I great. really appreciate that. Yeah. And also, like, I would really say that, like, the teacher and student relationship is like really close. Like so it's really really, really close. close. Like you are like outside of the classroom, you maybe just like hang out with teachers, like singing teacher. Yeah. Like you know, have a talk yeah. to learn about their experiences, and it's like I it's made cookies with the teacher yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> yes, like I really feel like I bonded with teachers so much. Like whenever I have like some problem, like confusion in my life or confusion in anything, <laughs> I would just go to the teacher and be like. Can you help me out, please? Yeah. Like they're just gonna talk to you as friends, and they're really open to all the students. Like they treat you as friends instead of like a yeah. student or teacher relationship. So they're really open for it. Yeah. Uh, I saw a question about like um, how to apply from a particular country and all of that. I don't know if we were clear on that, but uh, every country has a national committee, and that's the first step to applying. You reaching out to them, and every country has a national committee, and. So you have to do the whole process within that in your own country and through the national committee you can get accepted to UWC. So they're the ones that take care of it for you. Uh, um, um, although yeah. there are certain countries that don't have national committees. Yeah. Um, so in that case, um, or even in any other case, because this is open to anyone, you can apply directly to a school. Often some schools accept applications directly. Um, or there is something called a Global Scholars Program. I think. I think it's Global Selections. Global Selections Program, yeah, yeah. yeah, so there's an S there. Um, and that is basically, if you don't require a scholarship, because that, that's not a route for scholarships, but through that, it's very similar to a national committee, but like an international committee, mm -hmm. where you can, you apply from all over the world, and the process is very similar, but it's just not for people from your country, but yeah. all over. Um, for the selection, like it really um, varies, because, um, from the country you come from or like from the um, like um, different background you have so um, I would recommend you to definitely look up uwc.org um, is like is our website in application you can see every single details so you can go to your national communities through that website so do look up the um, the international um, web page and there's a question about um, is there any dorms in UWC? Yes. So um, UWC, I think all eight UWCs are like um, fully, not all UWCs, but like most of the UWCs are like fully residential. So yeah. um, it creates a very community-based environment for you to like, you know, live with a community, to talk to them, to live with them. Yeah. So I think it's one of the most important part of UWC. Yes. That's 
I think I read another question, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, um, in the residences, you yeah. room with about, you can either have a single room, I have a single room. Um, you can, yeah, I do. What? Fun fact for everyone, I guess. Wow. Yeah, I got assigned a single room as a first year, which is not very common, but it's also really, really nice to have your own personal space when you're living with people. Yeah. Um, but you can get a single room, you can get one, two, or three other roommates in your yes. room. So it really varies um, here in Duino and Adriatic. We have um, many different residences, yes. each with their own sort of like quirks and characteristics. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, we have only girls' residences or boys' residences, mixed yes. residences. Yes. Um, some are closer to the sea. Yeah, exactly. very varied. It depends on, this is Adriatic specifically, but uh, it depends on the campus itself. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, there's a question about whether there's a program for students under 14. So UWC, we don't only have the diploma program. I think there are also um, Southeast Asia or like Thailand, Maastricht. some like yeah, Maastricht, some schools they do provide um, uh, like younger programs to look up that in the UWC international website. And also at the same time, we have um, summer programs and winter programs, which is also showing the UWC international website. So um, please feel free to check those out. And and um, there are clear age requirements on it. So um, I think you will have a really, like whatever your age is, you are definitely able to join the UWC movement. And also we have like other uh, um, like conferences or different things that you are able to join if you're like over the age criteria of the application. Do you want to tell them about also the pre-ID that oh, yeah. is there? Because that's yeah. a really good opportunity. Yeah. So for me, I studied in University Changshu China Foundation program. So it's like a year program for me to um, adapt from the Chinese education system into UWC. Um, so it's a very unique program in, in UWC Changshu China. Um, and I really had a lot of fun and I learned so much out of it. Um, so I really think um, like there are, I think there are four schools who is providing a pre-IB now and um, there are also other schools that are providing a younger age free I think from kindergarten to elementary school to middle school so please do um, check those out and it, I think it will be really helpful for your view mm -hmm. um, and also I saw a lot of questions about the recommendation letter yeah. so um, for recommendation letter I think like you are supposed to send it to some of your teachers former teachers or advisors or like mentors or like people who really know you well uh, um, like um, for the specific criteria, I think you need to check on your national check with the national committee. But I think you would need to send those documents to your teacher and help ask them to help you uh, like to help you to fill out those documents, like because they want like a outsider view on who you are as a person who like know you really well. So I would definitely say like try to ask someone who are really close to. I think a teacher would be like ideal for you to help you with the recommendation ladder. Yeah. Okay, someone said, should I just be myself for the UWC application or should I still kind of write things that the UWC might want to see? Uh, what I did was I went on the UWC website and I read the values, but I mentioned it in the most genuine way and things that I feel like were in my everyday life from the values that they talked about, I emphasized on that. Let's say... Um, I'm very interested in environmental studies and issues and all of that. And um, I job shadowed an uh, environmentalist. I made a movie about, um, about a restaurant that, that's very environmentally friendly. And I also like, wrote an essay about the environment. And so, it, so I kind of incorporated that and emphasized that because one of the values are about sustainability. Mm -hmm. So just use it to... Wait, okay. So basically, the values that you feel like you've, you live with every single day, emphasize on that more than other ones that you don't feel like they're necessarily introduced into your everyday life. But yeah. Um, yeah, and also like I saw a lot of question about like the, what is the hardest question or like what are the different questions on the interview. I would say like interview is not like a question for you to, you know, to see, oh, this student checked the list, you know, like it's not a checklist at all. It's like a process for, for the national committee or the selection committee to really know you as a person. It, it like for me, I really feels like it's not an interview. I was like more like a, a, a story telling a conversation, you know, like, um, like 
it's really just to be who you are. And I also like I see a lot of question about like whether you want to like should you be yourself or should you be someone else. I would say like definitely be yourself. Like because like if you be yourself and you show all the qualities you have and the national committee so like the selection committee like accepts you, I think you are a great fit for like a UWC. But if like you didn't get it, I would say like maybe UWC would not be that much a great fit for you. So it's just like I would really recommend you to be yourself and you know like know UWC before you apply to see whether it's a great fit for you. Yeah, it's very customized and they look at your application and then be like, I heard you wrote about this, do you want to talk about that more? Yeah. They, some yeah. questions are like that, it's yeah. very customized, so it's not like picture perfect, like textbook, like one, two, three questions, you know, it's very customized. That should tell you a lot about also UWC, like even when you get accepted and you come to UWC, like the first thing I was told by like second years and by alumni was like the UWC experience is what you make of it. It's your own experience. Like sure, there's a bunch of opportunities, but you take what you want to take. So even at the interview, I'm like my friend went in before me and I went in after, we had none of the same questions. Mm -hmm. Because they created questions based off of what we wrote in our application and who we were. So it really is a conversation. They're not, there's not a set question list that they base it off of. They really just want to get to know you and see if you are the best fit for UWC or not. Yeah. And um, for, like, um, for people who just joined their live session, welcome. Um, we are all in UWC Adriatic. Um, um, both me and Trisha is first year and then um, we're second year. Yeah. <laughs> um, so um, this is a Q&A session so feel free to ask any question you have and um, we are going to answer them. So if you really have some question you want to ask, so feel free to ask. Um, I, I saw a question about like what your parents think about like you being in UWC. Ooh. <laughs> 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 original good job <laughs> very UWC <laughs> yes um, yeah I would say does anyone want to you can go ahead yes <laughs> I would say like, um, like it might be difficult for some parents like um, like regarding you know safety issues or like you know being in different countries like like different kind of security concerns your parents might have. I would say I think like all the campuses are very safe because you know like we have all the safety procedures, um, risk risk assessment, etc. So I don't think there's actually any um, like you know um, accidents that actually happen in any of our eighteen campuses. And also like if you feel like your parents have some concerns or like that they don't support you to be here, I would recommend definitely talk to the national community because your national community really knows well about UWC and like I think they can really give you give your parents good information about what UWC is and like just put them into contact and then I think the national community will really help you to come to like UWC. Yeah. Yeah. I remember there was the story of uh, one of the alumni from Lebanon and she told me how her father wasn't really convinced that she should go and then they invited the head of the national committee and they sat and talked for two hours. After that, the father went up to, her, to his daughter and was like, you're going. So, <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, you need to hear it from the best of the best, I guess. I mean, so. I remember when I was applying also, like my parents were like, this is a great opportunity, but only if you get one, two or three UWCs, then maybe we'll think about you going. Um, but then after I got through to the selection stage, um, we were there with all of these amazing kids who really had these amazing ideas and things they wanted to do and we got to speak to the head of the national committee and all the people there and I remember walking out of that day and my parents were like, any UWC, you're going. Like, if this happens, you need to go. And just, there's nothing that would be better for you like to grow as a person than that. Yeah. So nice. Like, I also remember my parents were, were just like, am I really going to send my 15-year-old child to another place? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too sure. Like, in the beginning, they'll just like, apply and we'll see what happens. But yeah. we're not too convinced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, same story um, at, at, at the selection. Um, while I was doing my interview, my dad was speaking to the other members of the national committee. And then same thing, we left and he was like, okay, I, do, I don't care. You're going. <laughs> 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 like, I need to get in first. Like, yeah. <laughs> no pressure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So, like, as all of us mentioned, uh, national committees are really helpful and like very welcoming yes. when, it when it comes to any question you have about UWC. So, is there any like specific question you have about UWC? Please, please, um, like, feel free to email any of the national committees or like feel free to email like the international office. I think all of, like all the national committees are more than happy to welcome you because like they are there to like you know like to meet you and to like yeah. get you into the colleges. Yes. Any qu should we scroll up and yeah. see if there were any questions that we missed? Um, 
There's a question. Is there a, a time that you feel like you are not what a UW student should be? Like you are not, you are not fitting the expectation of UW students. I would say, I would say it, it's, it's like, um, it's definitely not like because UW student accepts you as a, as a whole person. Like they, they accept you because like they want you, like a person could not be perfect. Like there's, I think there's no in the, like in the universe that could be like, you know, perfect. Yeah in everything so like definitely like yes we've like sometimes like we have low you have highs and lows in our in our life here mm-hmm. but definitely like UWC does not expect you to be perfect in every single yeah. thing in, yeah. in your life they do know that you're human and that you're a teenager like you're not supposed to know about everything you don't have raw knowledge about everything they see the potential of growth and potential of learning and potential of leading and potential of loving an environment that's so different from any place in the world honestly you're not supposed to know so many things you're not supposed to I traveled there I went this I saw yeah. this I initiated this no they give you the opportunity to do so yeah. so do not feel like you're below anyone because this is an opportunity for every single person in this world so, yeah. Yeah. and <laughs> I just saw a question is UWC Adriatic your first choice um, is, is, this the, yeah, <laughs> is, this, is this the college you want to go into so I'm gonna start first um, right. For me, um, because I'm a, I was a student in University of China, so like I, I can choose from all the 18 campuses, and University of Georgia, I think is my first choice among all 18 campuses because of the, um, yeah, because of the fabulous, um, you know, environment we have here. Um, the first one I why I chose here is um the music 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 um academy. program yeah the music academy we have here. Um, like after here, I'm really like I'm really glad that I came here because like. Like they help me to connect with different musicians in the Trieste and um, different concerts, and I, I'm able to join a Trieste like a, a a a professional orchestra in Trieste. So I was like say the um the the first reason why I'm curious is because of the orchestra. The second one is like because of the huge like the amazing nature we have here. Um, you know the sea, the Adriatic Sea, the um the mountains around, and like you know you can go skiing everywhere during the winter. So I think like these two things are why I want to be here. Uh, we saw. Uh, um, so there's the, the Shelby Davis Scholarship, someone wants us to talk about that. Uh, who, 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 who to talk about that? Yeah. yeah, I'm trying to think where to start. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, basically the Shelby Davis Scholarship is one that can be granted to um, a UWC student. It's like um, once you come through UWC then you're automatically um, eligible to get the Shelby Davis Scholarship. And what it is, it's um, a list of uh, about 100 universities in the US in which um, if you get into those, then Shelby Davis can help you pay for your fees. Yeah. So it's like it's almost like a financial aid package, more or less, and it varies from case to case on how much you receive. It. And it's basically um, an agreement between Shelby Davis and the university itself. So it's not like you um, get into the university and then you apply for Shelby Davis Scholarship. Yeah. That's not how it works. It's like yeah. you apply to the university and then they're like, okay, this is a UWC student. Let's see. Um, yeah. Funds. Yeah, let's see the funds yeah. and um, how we can deal with yeah. this. It like comes student. with a bonus. Yeah. It comes with a package. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another yeah. perk of being UWC. Yeah. Yes, so many opportunities. Yeah. Just There's a question. Yeah. I think it would be like really helpful to a lot of um, a lot of viewers yeah. it's like um he's like there's a someone who is in 11th grade now um you see like is he normal to come to uwc and like repeat the 11th grade like you know yeah. the dp1 this happens to so many people <laughs> this is very normal whether it be your first time that you do the ib or the first time that you're in the 11th grade or if it's the fifth time that you do it you you can you can um so yeah it doesn't really matter yeah. if you've done it before uh, you, you have to do it again because you have to go through both IB years here. Mm-hmm. Four, four terms, two terms a year. So yeah. As yeah. long as you're willing to do that 11th grade again yeah. and your national committee accept your age, yeah. everything is all good. Because yeah. we have people here ranging from like 15 to like 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 21. Yeah. Like yeah. It's just, it's a great environment regardless of your age or regardless of what grade you've completed. And there's also um, one of my co year from Iraq. He just he actually finished the medical school, like the medical college, like college before he came here. So his um so like we really have students from different like who have who come from different wow. backgrounds. So I would say, I think national committees are pretty open to your background. Like it's completely normal. And yeah. so yeah. 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 Ye
Because you know, obviously it reaches us at different points in our lives, you know, so they don't expect everyone to know it when they're 15 or 16. So, yeah. um, and there's a question about like, do you know the quota of, of U each UWC? I would say like um, UWC, I think in UWC, every each UWC college, they have quota for um, different national committees or like national committees like who send their students to UWC. So we don't know the quota, but like, um, definitely talk to your national committees like um, they I think they will have really detailed information about that and also um, you can apply through the global selection program to like you know to go to a specific school if you really want to go to mm -hmm. um, so definitely check out the um, like the application sites from UWC guys it's 450 yes <laughs> okay um, so like now it's um, 450 because the Instagram we can know um, like we can not go like more than 55 minutes they will cut us um so there, we will take a few questions like um yeah. in the end so if you have any question like regarding uwc or uwc adriatic specifically please feel free to ask yeah is i like, be too stressful <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> yeah, manage your time and Honestly. use your summer well yeah. <laughs> not on the step but even like how you choose to deal with the stress mm -hmm. like it, it it is up to you and Anything is stressful if you don't manage it well, I think. Yeah. So. Um, is, there's a question regarding IB um, in Germany. I would say like IB, I think it's a really global, you know, global attractive yeah. program. So, but for a specific university, definitely look up the university application website. But um, for more information about IB, I think you could go to the IBO, or, uh, IBO website to yeah. see like the specific requirements or like the specific um, fulfillment that, that, it, that it's able to, you know, achieve yeah. um, from the IB website. Yeah, I know someone who's studying in Germany now and graduated last term, so Germany yeah. is a good choice. Yeah. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a question regarding the tuition fee in UWC. I would say that um, different UWC have different tuition fee, but yeah. also um, like we provide like a, um, really great um, financial aid and um, like um, scholarship f to support all of you. Mm -hmm. um, Check out on your national committee. Yeah. Scholarships <laughs> and tuition because everything varies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, please guide something related to academic life like rest slash exam sessions. Um, you plan your day out. Wait, exams or rest? Wait, I don't get the question. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think it's like rest or ex oh, like, so we have like, like ongoing sort of tests as your um, unit sort of finish. Um, and then you have an end of year exam, which contributes to something called a predicted grade, which is about your university applications. So there is, there, there's just like a main end of year exam and there's ongoing tests to make sure that you're on track and you're keeping on top of things because if you leave too much for the end, it can get quite messy with the IB. And yeah. then in your second year, um, you have um, trial exams, which are literally just mock exams of the IB, um, about three months or two and a half months before you actually write the IB. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'd say that those two are the main exams that you'd write here at Adriatic specifically. Yeah. Um, yeah. Your final exam. Sorry. Um, yeah. Because of the time concern, we are going to do the last two questions. The first one is that um, is UWC worth it? Like, Up to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very. Yeah. yeah. For me, me, yeah. For me, I really feel like it's super worth it. It's like I'm really glad that I'm here. Yeah. And. <laughs> 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 and then time zone with friends and families it can be a struggle if you live in the other side of the continent or if the hours are very different but people do manage yeah. i you can you can work. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah yeah and peer pressure it really the um like we as second years we like when our first years came we wanted as least peer pressure as possible uh, and we made it work because everyone it to be honest, there is no such thing as peer pressure unless you make it out to be. If you know, if you stand by what you like to do, what you don't like to do, your beliefs, your values, everything, you'll be fine and peer pressure will not even be a, yeah, a and thing. Also, just yeah. a quick little note, um, going back to the whole um, support system, yeah. even if you are feeling that way, there are always people around you who can help you. Like if you don't like the situation that you're in and you talk to someone about it, they will drag you out of that situation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's it for the for today's live session. Yes. Um, thank you all for spending your time yes. with us. Um, I really wish you to apply yeah. to UWC to join us apply. in the community. Yeah, apply. We hope you can. Yeah. Apply. It's such a great experience. Yeah, honestly, what's a lifetime opportunity? Yeah. Yes. Um, ciao, guys. Ciao. <laughs>